Hey, so this is the um, second part of the first uh, database project that we're doing. Um, we're going to pr pretty much do these seven things. Um, assuming you've done the first part, which was this, and we can set some uh, labels here. I didn't do that last time. <coughs> Login um, password and whatever this would be. Um, we're gonna do this right here, this form. Um, first thing though is we're gonna make a new class called list item and copy the code over. So if we go back to our project, um, And say new class and name it uh, list item and say OK and, uh, and then go and copy the code over and paste it in. And now uh, shouldn't give you any errors. Let's see what errors we have. Okay, just have it say this then instead of that top line. We don't want that top line. Um, okay, now, uh, next thing, add new items to the database from that GUI that we just saw uh, right here. Um, so if you actually go to uh, like a notepad document, you can start typing in um, you know the new things that we need. We already have these right here. All these uh, these five. Uh, we need these uh, five plus this membership expiration. So um, go down there and type in you know uh, uh, apostrophe for the uh, as a comment later on when we paste it. Say email address uh, extra line street address city state zip and membership expiration and then do another apostrophe and say uh, txt email address uh, txt extra line uh, txt street address txt city state txt zip and um, his date time picker uh, membership expiration I think um, and so type that in, and you'll use that later on. It'll make it easier to do. Uh, you, know, you can just copy and paste instead of rewriting each thing each time. Um, so we're going to add these new items to the database. Um, go to your database. Double click database one. Uh, go to your tables. Uh, edit table schema. The first time through, we only put in these things. Um, oops, we gotta change this to true. Change ID to true, make sure that's true. Um, allow nulls, say, uh, don't allow nulls, have it be unique and have it be primary key. And let's see if it lets you do that. Doesn't let you do it. Okay, so we have to uh, delete this real quick. Make ID again, set it as int. Um, allow nulls, no. Say identity, true. Uh, unique and primary key yes yes okay and then uh, you can just save that and then go back into it now our ID is good um, we want to add all these things so we want to add uh, email address um, and set the length as whatever uh, you want I think it's 45 um, extra line um, street address Um, city state zip uh, membership oops, expiration. Um, then you also need two more that you're going to see later on. You just might as well add them right now. You're going to add uh, record source and record source ID, and that can be. 20 
and record source ID. And that's gonna be 20. And um, you can set these other links as whatever you want. This membership expiration actually needs to be a date time, so set that and say OK. And now you can next out of that database. And um, now you're going to want to go ahead and see what else we want to do. Um, create the GUI for the account mate. Uh, so add a new item, Windows form, FRM account mate. And then uh, go to our toolbox, view toolbox. Uh, oops. Uh, and now um, go ahead and just make it look like this. So we have text box there. So a bunch of text boxes. Uh, one right there. We have um, we have a label. We're gonna do a label right here, I think. Um, a uh, list box, I think, uh, right there. Um, a button right there. Um, and so then we can control C, and we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen labels all together. Uh, I think that's right. I don't know. Um, just one down there, so, uh, one down here, one down there, uh, 11, uh, 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, uh, 4, three, Two. Okay, and let's go ahead and just name them real quick. Uh, so your selected account ID. You don't have to rename the uh, label; it's just the text property. So uh, selected account ID colon uh, last name or company last name uh, you know, or company um, first name um, login ID. Password uh, role, which is the same as uh, I think menu type or uh, whatever you would have put uh, mailing address, say, uh, email address, um, extra line. Um, street address, and then uh, city and state. I'm just gonna put city and state. Uh, that doesn't work, does it? Nope. There we go. So if you do two ampersands, then it lets you show the ampersand symbol, zip code, um, membership expiration. Ship expiration, and this one actually goes up here. Whoops! Shoot. When you double-click something, just delete it because you don't need it. Um, take it back up here, and we're gonna just name that one. Uh, you don't have to change the text property; you just need to change the name to I think it's LBL ID, the capital I and the ID. Um, now we can go ahead and copy and paste some text boxes here. Uh, one right there. One right there for first name, uh, login ID, password, um, email address needs one, extra line needs one, street address needs one, city and state, zip code, um, role. We need a uh, combo, but no, address. Uh, um, well, first off, we need a date time picker um... then second off we need a uh... I think it's a combo box, I don't know yep, I guess it is alright, so we need a co uh, combo box there and a date time picker here let's go and name these things um... forget if it matters the name 
Might as well just use whatever I name it though. And if we need to change it later on, we can do that. Uh, uh, but for right now, I think it should be fine. Uh, I think this one's supposed to be CB menu type. Uh, this one's supposed to maybe be... Uh, I don't think this... Yeah. So these you can actually name whatever you want, I guess. But again, this might as well just name it whatever I name it. So you can follow along better. And type whatever I type. And um, we have another button down here. This one right here is going to say BTN new. This one right here is going to say BTN, I think, update. This one right here is this text box up here is going to be uh, TXT search, I think. Uh, this one right here is going to be. Is it LBL advice? I'm not really sure. Um, we're going to figure that one out once we get the errors. Uh, list box. Um, forget, so I'm going to just uh, go ahead and write, actually, name this something, say new, whoops, uh, da, da, da. say this one is update, mm -hmm. and um, it's all okay for now, you can rearrange it to make it look pretty if you want, um, now let's go ahead and uh, view code, uh, go to the web page in the description to get form account main code right here. Uh, you're going to copy and paste all the way down and I think you go ahead and copy it all. Looks like it, yep. And uh, save your program if you want. Um, over in form main panel you're going to make two buttons too. Uh, go ahead and name one of them BTN count main in this one, BTN take on customers. Um, and then you go and change the text property form. Uh, and you have this say whatever you want. You have this say whatever you want. Um, okay, and then we need a. Uh, uh, Open file dialog. Drag that onto the form. We're gonna rename that in a second. 